action here at Shell Energy Stadium in Houston, Texas. Yeah, and like I told you, we talked about this before this game started. This is going to be a game of flanks and who controls the midfield. 104 on the heat index at kickoff. It's a hot one tonight. Hydration breaks will be in order. We'll see how things go in the early going between Houston and O.L. Reign. Again, happy to have you with us tonight. It's with Suskia Weber. I'm Joe Malfa. Settle in for what should be a terrific evening between two teams just separated by three points right now in the standings as we begin the second half of the season. Led the league in goals against average. This year, that's dipped a little bit, but still shown she's among the top keepers in this league. Only allowed 14 goals this season. O.L. Reign, danger here. Campbell waited too long at Heidema. Got a piece of it. Yeah, and you can see right now what Reign's going to do. They're going to say, go, go, go. Pressure Campbell. Pressure the back line. See if we can turn something over. But this has been their M.O. all season. Puerta. Looking long for Balser, it falls for Zierra King. Still King took a deflection just wide. Cook over the top, feeds it into Heidema. Jordan Heidema! And just misses. Best look of the night for either side so far. The first half. Didasco swings it in. Tullis Joyce punches away. Anderson back into the mixer. Tullis Joyce is there. Ordonez was lurking, but a little bit too far out in front. Now it's decision time for Schmidt and Sanchez. It is a direct strike, and Tullis Joyce is there. Rebound put wide. Yeah, I think you're asking a big, big, big thing out of Sanchez to try to score on Tullis Joyce from 30 yards out. It's a great strike, but at the same time, Joyce is all over. It gets a lower hand down. It's a good, solid save forward from the goalkeeper. Well done. It's a great strike. At the end of the day, when you look back on this from Sanchez, it's a great strike, but Joyce is all over it. Get it out there, and she can. Here's Alozia coming in on Sonic. Michelle Alozia, right-footed shot just over the bar. Caroline just keeps scoring, and another one to her tally today. That's always a scary thing when Caroline has find her, found her groove. <laughs> Patrick, last time out against Chicago, another goal today. Now it's tied him up. Too long for Huerta, Balser backs it up. It's gonna come down to a restart. It's gonna come down to- Alozia pushing through, almost taking it there. It's that was almost the moment you needed. Yeah, it's gonna come down to a mistake like that or it's going to come down to a corner kick a free kick or something because this game is a chess match in between the d's and down to 10 six minutes of horizon stoppage time here at the end of this first half rolled ahead sent into campbell makes I, her I, first save of the first half yeah, we're gonna go. give it away almost and king is taken down free kick coming oh well rain and this is what you see. You're seeing that the players, because of the fatigue, because of the heat, are, are making errant passes, bad passes, and they're making mistakes. Yellow card to Jacobs as well for this challenge. You'll get some mistakes in the passes. You'll get some clumsy challenges. It's all part of it right now with the weather in a situation like this, and I don't want to harp on it too much, but yeah, you I have mean, to, I'm it's not, part of the look, equation. It's part of the equation. I'm not blaming the rather, weather, so what Houston and the rain need to do is be smart. One, two touches, move the ball around really, really efficiently through the back, through the midfield, find the spaces, take your time, and then when you find a way to get through, find it, but don't force it. Both teams have to deal with this. It's, it, it's an even playing field. A three standing over this free kick. And Chesky is still holding up the play here. There might be a VAR check for a denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. As the foul was committed by Jacobs, are they saying that King could have been in alone onto goal where this oh card should be red goodness. instead of yellow? I was wondering what the holdup was, but told now it's for a VAR check. So what are we looking at here? Right here, as Jacobs commits the foul, 
Would King have been in alone? Is this dog so? Is it a red card? The touch was heavy. That's part yeah. of the equation. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's a 50-50 ball. I don't think that's with intent. I, I'd be surprised if we see a red card here. Part is of it, the equation uh, for dog so is where uh, did the ball end up? This is my opinion. This wasn't like King had a full-on touch on the ball and a breakaway. I think this is 50-50. I don't think this is a red card, but again, I'm not the VAR ref. <laughs> uh, the decision coming here. Chesky saunters back out onto the field. Oh, wow. Wow. This changes <laughs> a lot. Houston what? down to 10. Wow. Natalie Jacobs done for the night. Drives so much of this attack from the right side for O.L. Reign. Ahead to Heidema. Campbell off the line, wise to it. They've switched in the second half, Sanchez and Alozia. On the overlap here toward Alozia, flicked along. It's loose for Ordonez, and saved by Thomas Joyce. Got the left hand to it to Rob Anderson in the end. The mentality is not to mentally play down a player. Alozia looking in front. It's loose here, chance for Houston right to Tullis Joyce. And another opportunity wasted by Joel Anderson. Lind, crowd senses maybe there's something in this one for Houston. It's loose, still Vigiano toward the line and cleared by Brown. <laughs> oh, oh man. It's... And there's the final whistle. Through the heat, through the red card, through the back and forth. Through it all, it finishes nil-nil between Houston and O.L. Reign here at Shell Energy Stadium.